Hello, so today I'm going to review something I actually bought for myself for personal use. And this is a Lumitop EDC flashlight. Now, I had no idea if this would be any good or not. I basically bought it because it wasn't very expensive on Amazon. And I wanted quite a small flashlight like this to go on my keyring. Now I've reviewed some of the Frunite ones before and this is very similar to like Frunite sort of equivalent one. But with the Frunite ones I keep one in my car glove box and I keep one of them somewhere else. I'm trying to remember like a little tool bag or something. So I didn't want to sort of stop using one in one place. I thought I'd just buy another flashlight and as time goes on obviously you get more lumen sort of for less drain on the battery. Um, so the Frunite ones are very good, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to try something else. So in its pack it comes obviously with... The flashlight itself that's there, it doesn't come with a battery, it comes with a little sort of clip for attaching it to your keyring. Um, you get some spare washers and you get a diffuser. Now I've got no use for the diffuser personally, but some people might, so it's nice it's included. So anyway, let's close that. There's some instructions, but who wants to look at those? The instructions basically do the regular thing of telling you what batteries you can and can't use, how to change the operation of the flashlight and stuff like that. So how this works is it's one of those ones where you twist it to turn it on. There you go. As you can see, fairly bright. Um, and if you twist it quickly, it's meant to change the mode. So I guess that's the brightest mode looking at it. That's pretty damn bright. That's a dimmer mode. That's obviously the dimmest mode. And that's the brightest. So this one doesn't have a strobe by the look of it, um, like some of these torches do, but it does have um, the sort of various dim modes. Yeah, so obviously for the most part, I probably want to keep it on the brightest mode, even if it's the most drain on the battery, because that's the most useful, obviously, in terms of brightness. So what I'm just going to do now is quickly flick lights off and move the camera, and then you can just see what it looks like in a room, sort of illuminating, you know, a room, just to give you an idea of how bright it is. But so this is going to be a short and simple video. It was just, I wanted an EDC torch to put on my key rings. Uh, you'll notice as well, I've put the Swiss Army knife on my key rings now. Only actual reason for that is that way, if I've ever got my keys on me, I've always got the Swiss Army knife on me, for like the bottle opener and stuff like that, and the screwdrivers, just because the amount of times I meant to take the Swiss Army knife out with me somewhere, and I forget to do it. Um, you know, this way it's always on my keyring, yes it adds a bit of weight to the keyring, but also it makes it easier to keep your keys in your pocket without them falling out if you're in a shallow pocket. I tend to always put them in the button up or zip up pocket with my keys because I'm a bit paranoid and or secure uh, with my keys and things like that. But, you know, weight on keys is always a good thing because it does stop them, you know, falling out as easily. So there's that going against gravity. Let's um, show you what this looks like in the dark. So there we go. Hopefully that gives you a good idea. You can see that this does generate quite a lot of light. Obviously the problem with cameras is they always start auto adjusting to the light that's available. But on the highest setting, you can definitely sort of see in front of you if you're walking down a little road. Although I think this would generally be a much better flashlight for using just sort of... Uh, around the house for odd jobs and stuff but again if, if you see my review on the little small through night torches it basically does the exact same functions as those you know it's better than a phone light if you're doing stuff because i know you get a lot of people go why not just use the light on your phone but they're never anywhere near as bright as proper um you know flashlights or torches that have a cree led and an actual you know single or double battery behind them um, just because of sort of what the phone light's designed to do. It's designed to, you know, run for out using much battery. Another quick thing I wanted to test is Max Johnson told me that if I put a decimeter pen in front of a torch, you can actually use it to project the decimeter onto the wall, which does actually work. The only issue is it's quite hard to um, see unless you're at just the right distance. So what I'm going to do now is just set the camera up just to quickly demonstrate using this torch to project a decimeter pen onto a wall just so you can see how it's done, because this is actually the perfect size pen for it, which is another little function I wanted to have one that could do just for the sake of videos. Okay, so this should be the best way of demonstrating it. I've got the little decimeter pen here. Um, I've got, you know, the flashlight here. So in theory, you basically put it like you were going to be putting a light source behind it anyway. And then, yeah, there we go, on the wall. Um, you can just about see it saying millisieverts backwards. And it's, you know, going from zero to... What does this one go to? I think 200 millisieverts. Yeah, it's actually too bright to use this to look through normally, but yeah, I think that's um, a 200 millisievert one. Obviously, the annoying thing is it's backwards when you project it, but yeah. Um, what is it, 100 millisieverts? Again, it's quite hard to see because, again, it's, it's not the ideal way of using these, but yeah, I think that's... Is it 100 millisieverts? I really cannot remember. Is it 0, 10... 20, 30, 40, 50, 100. But anyway, yeah, there you go. So you can use these two projector decimeters onto walls if you really wanted to. Um, you know, I don't know what the ideal distance is. 
that's actually a bit more readable. Let me just go a bit further back and try and project it onto the wall from behind the camera and see if I can make it work. Because obviously the further away you get, the less clarity you get, but that's going to be upside down. So if I turn it that way around, hang on. There we go. Although it's mirrored, um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So what I'll do in a minute when I edit the video is just try flipping the camera if it lets me do that, flipping the video horizontally and see if that actually becomes readable properly. But yeah, that's quite good. You have to project it onto um, like a white surface for it to be visible. It works quite well out of the camera doing it on the ceiling. But yeah, it's, it's a cool little trick with these decimeter pens. Certainly easier doing that than trying to film down them. So yeah, there you go. If that's showing up, there you are.